This Patreon re- <laughs> This Patreon request today has been brought to us by Jehu Overnum. It's Dan Vask. <laughs> it's been a while since he released a song, so I'm happy that we're back on him. The song is called The Number of the Beast is an Iron Maiden cover. And I know this one from Guitar Hero. Let's check it out. I've never thought what the lyrics mean, but we know that the line in the song 666, the number of the beast, is the devil. Or, if you watch the Omen films from years ago, Sam Neill and the other two, got 666 on his head because he is the devil incarnated. (laughs) Right, okay. Number of the beast by Dan Vass. Let's get it. Woe to you, O earth and sea. For the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Okay. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number <laughs> is six hundred. Born on the sixth day of the sixth month of the sixth year. I left too long. Okay. What did I see? Can I believe? Okay. That what I saw that night was real and not just fantasy. Hmm. She has a great. Before this kicks in, bravo, bravo, Mr. Dan Vask. This guy can literally sing any rock metal song he wants to. Now, I knew his voice was good from the other ones I've checked, like Bohemian Rhapsody and... um... (laughs) What was the last one he did? Amazing Grace. Um, But this, obviously, is a different styling, and the fact that he's got those awesome screams... Like nailed down because Iron Maiden's not you no, know, it's not easy to sing. I I, I, I say that like I can sing it myself and I can't. But this guy, you know, Dan, he is the man. He is the man to do these rock covers, metal covers, whatever. He's uh, nailing it. Let's go. I wait held that note as well. So, that the beast was born to be released. You've got to let the devil go. Whether it's the devil inside you or the devil, devil, devil. You need to let him out. He was born to be released. Probably to have that good versus evil war with God. Not that I believe in any of that shit. But... As the story goes, <laughs> that's what I think they're talking about. That's okay. A devil worship. Right, so listening to the lyrics now, listening to the lyrics and, and taking it in and trying to work out what's going on within the song, 
we have a bunch of devil worshippers. I imagine stood in a pentagram, but the visuals that I've got in my head is some druid-looking people stood in a circle round Stonehenge, <laughs> lots of like stones around him, on a pentagram with fire everywhere, going, "Let's bring on the devil!" You know, we're going to worship him, etc., and and um, release him from his hell hope. Right, that is the picture I have in my head. The sacrifice one to bring him back. I like to see red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, orange, blue, green, yellow. <laughs> Better on guitar than I can on guitar. <laughs> oh, let's go! You guys do the bass and guitar, okay. Tell you what, as far as covers go, and as far as covers go to um, like for metal songs, especially Iron Maiden, that is one of the best I've seen and heard. Dan Vasque is the real deal. I mean, we knew this anyway because this guy can sing operatic, he can sing metal, he can sing normal, he can sing whatever. He probably sing right across a choir in different tones, whatever. But um, I enjoy his videos very, very much because he he always looks like he's putting a hundred percent, well, hundred and ten percent in. Whenever, whatever he sings and he always upgrades he always upgrades certain songs and you know it's just absolutely fantastic to see someone you know on youtube doing it and making a freaking go of it and really good go of it that was absolutely brilliant what did you guys think let me know in the comments and if you like my videos then please hit like and subscribe and i shall see you all in the next video